The Salton Sea is on the brink of catastrophe. Toxic dust from the Salton Sea is causing serious health problems and in the near future will be affecting millions of people in Southern California and further. The air pollution is getting worse as the sea is quickly drying up. The contaminants come from agricultural runoff, which contains pesticides, toxic heavy metals like arsenic, fertilizer, pesticides, and high quantities of salt. We need to save the Salton Sea. The Salton Sea is one of the world's most important stops for migratory birds in North America, and also for other wildlife, is now in danger of disappearing. As the lake dries up, the uncovered contaminated sediment from the dry lake bed will blow dangerous dust particles throughout Southern California, affecting the health of millions of people. We are an organization, a nonprofit organization, that has come up alongside of the Salton Sea Authority to find resolutions and solutions to the Salton Sea uh, impact issues. Salton Sea is a magnificent body of water, the largest lake in California, that is starting to dry up and is going to be drying up very quickly. As it dries up, there are potential significant impacts to wildlife, uh, 400 species of migratory birds that rely on the sea, uh, as well as uh, enormous opportunities for dust, and dust issues, emissive issues from the exposed playa that will occur as the sea shrinks. It's a beautiful place. Uh, it's a major area for the, the birds flying in all over and we really need to preserve it. There's a lot of different plans. We've got interest though in the Salton Sea from all around the world. And if we lose it, if we lose our birds, if we have uh, the particulate matter and everything going around, uh, it's not just this small area that's going to be impacted, it's a huge area. Our goal is full revitalization and remediation. I think that it's a viable solution. Uh, and our long-range planning visions, we looked at how we would bring uh, water through Mexico um, and be able to utilize siphon systems so you can have free energy alternatives to what usually is a kind of a labor-intensive issue. Uh, California uses 20% of its energy to move water. So we think that uh, utilizing uh, siphon technologies uh, would create a free energy that can offset uh, energy usages around California. Uh, as well as partnering with several companies like Joy Scientific, we would be able to create hydrogen energy as well as desal water. So they're a very important partner of ours. Uh, other companies such as Intrinsic, uh, they work a lot with NASA and they utilize plant species to treat uh, selenium. So there's all different applications and there's all different companies as well as new companies that we have yet to partner with that could be a viable uh, collaborator on this overall full revitalization strategy. There's umpteen jillion little fingers in the pie so to speak uh, having a piece of the action and um, water as we all know is valuable and if you think there's an issue now wait till that sucker dries up and there will be more health issues and whatnot than people even have a clue that, that scientists can tell us, but from my point of view, there'll be more issues than they even have said. We really, really do need to save it. And it is doable, but it will cost money. You just have to, again, change attitude and have a passion and get her done. We gotta figure it out. We gotta figure it out fast. And if we don't, the impacts, especially to the Coachella Valley and Imperial Valleys, could be enormous. And for that matter, all of Southern California. We're trying our best as the Salt and Sea Action Committee to, uh, to bring out awareness and outreach to individuals who, frankly, probably don't know that and don't know that they are in harm's way in the very, very near future. If we don't do anything, um, a million people are in jeopardy. Their health is in jeopardy. Their property values, their investments, their businesses, their lifestyles, 
they, they could become refugees from the Coachella Valley. The, the do nothing plan has been estimated to cost $80 billion uh, in health costs and other costs. And get this, if we can make this happen, everybody's boat floats. Uh, we solve environmental, significant environmental issues on air quality. We solve significant environmental, international environmental issues on wildlife of the 400 migratory species that cross borders of Canada and Mexico and well into southern South America. And we, uh, we solve the issues of recreation and tourism uh, that the sea's heyday in the 50s and 60s uh, was able to do. We can bring back sports fishing, we can bring back water sports, we can bring back all of the things that made the sea great even in that time, in addition to recreating and creating enormous amounts of habitat uh, for the birds and the fish. Years ago when I used to go down and learn how to water ski there, we were out fishing for the, uh, the big game Corvina, enjoying the boat races, just having a great time at the sea. It's close enough for a lot of people to come and have fun. There's so many options. I think our Salton Sea has a lot of hidden treasures. Of course, they've got the geothermal places down there. We've got a lot of scenic things, a lot of mysterious things at the sea that people don't even know about. We have five volcanoes down there at the other end of the Salton Sea. The sea has been up and down and up and down. And of course, in 1905, when they were trying to bring in the water for Imperial, for the big farms, it got away from them. They just engineered it poorly and over a sandy area and down through Mexico. And um, they had had a wet time on the Gila River and the Colorado River. So those rivers were just full and try to bring in that water. It got away from them, broke through 1905. Uh, Teddy Roosevelt was president then. The perception of it, it's got some really problems. But people that come and visit the sea, once they visit here, they can see what a wonderful place it is. And they can see the possibilities. Well, we need to get some water down there. And, and he has thought, it would be a good idea to bring it up from the Sea of Cortez. I know we're going to need to desalinate things. We just need to really try to save our, our wildlife. It's important. What are we leaving the kids? What are we leaving them? We need to leave them some possibilities, and we need to leave them the magic of the Salton Sea. We need to save the Salton Sea. The Salton Sea supports a spectacular bird population that is among the most concentrated and diverse in the world. This crucial stopover along the Pacific Flyway for migratory, shorebirds, and waterfowl is dangerously close to collapse from several environmental threats. More than 400 species depend on the Salton Sea. Many bird species may go extinct. Birds aren't the only ones. Monarch butterflies, Brown bats and other wildlife also depend on the Salton Sea for survival. Educate ourselves, quit being fearful, and, and be a little more tolerant, not only of the critters, but of each other. Help restore the Salton Sea by sharing this program with your social media networks. Support exploration of solutions tied to clean energy technologies that may reverse damage and enhance the sea's vitality and aid the restoration process. Write letters of support to the president, governor, and government officials. That's www.saltonseaactioncommittee.org. Help make this effort a success. That's www.saltonseaactioncommittee.org.